fam and welcome back to my channel it's me chloe yasmine the hygiene queen and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys my daily feminine hygiene routine this is that routine girl this routine is going to keep you healthy and fresh this is that routine that when you go to use a public bathroom and you exit that stall you ain't worried about if somebody coming behind you because you confident you fresh okay fresh and so clean mm -hmm. and with that being said girl let's hop straight into it my feminine hygiene routine routine actually starts first thing in the morning and it starts with water so as soon as I wake up I go straight downstairs and I pour myself a fresh glass of water okay and then I go ahead and I collect all of the water bottles that I need to go ahead and drink throughout the day and I gotta say this is one of the most important steps in my feminine hygiene routine I'm gonna go ahead and link down below exactly what I'm reading but on the Lumi website they have 12 ways to reduce body odor if you watch my channel you already know I am very big on water intake water intake is so important when it comes down to smelling good and this is why drink more water ever notice your pee smells stronger when you haven't been drinking enough water drinking plenty of water flushes toxins and waste and dilutes the savory odors they produce your body's sophisticated cooling system works by expanding blood vessels close to the skin surface and releasing heat when you are dehydrated it takes a higher temperature to trigger blood vessels to expand so you stay hotter and sweatier and being sweatier makes you more dehydrated crazy and then on the axe website it says sweat is mostly water so if you're low on fluids it can be more concentrated and smell stronger if your sweat smells particularly strong guzzle a glass of water so what we are learning here is that your sweat is going to stink and cause unnecessary odors if you do not drink enough water so personally for me I like to drink a gallon a day that is eight water bottles a day so every single morning I go down and I collect eight water bottles it's 12 o'clock right now so far i have gone through four water bottles so i'm doing pretty darn good once i've got my glass of water and i've got all my water bottles then i go into my room and i start working on my internal feminine hygiene and my internal feminine hygiene being hygiene supplements also, you guys will notice that the angle just changed a little bit. That's because when my camera overheats, I turn it off and I wait a little while. And when I turn it back on, the angle is just different. So, yeah. The first supplement I am so excited to go ahead and share with you guys is this Body Mint Internal Deodorant. This is a feminine hygiene internal deodorant. It is plant-based and it does have chlorophyll in it. So, you will see that like your number two turns green. But boy is this amazing and it not only targets your downstairs area girl it targets breath feet underarms behind everything on your body that can cause odor so i take one of these each and every day and this right here girl exactly what it says it is an internal deodorant this supplement keeps me so fresh this is awesome i could go on and on about this supplement it is an amazing feminine hygiene internal deodorant and then my other supplement i'm pretty sure y'all already know about this this is the azo complete feminine balance daily probiotic if you can't afford both of these and you can only get one i would say just get this one just get this one because this one right here is so potent and so strong when it comes down to like eliminating odors girl i could get done running a marathon and still be odor free with this probiotic. I love these so much, you guys. They work from the inside, which is way more important than working from the outside. Odors come from within. So each and every morning, I take one of each supplement. And once I get done taking those, then I go ahead and hop in the shower and get started working on the outer hygiene, okay? Oh yeah, and also girl, each and every product that I go ahead and mention in today's video is going to be on my Amazon storefront, link down below. I'll go ahead and make like a new little section in my Amazon storefront and I'll title it my feminine hygiene routine something like that and all of these things will be in there I earn a small commission from each and every purchase made so it is greatly appreciated but girl no pressure okay but like I said I go ahead and hop in the shower so let's get into my shower feminine hygiene feminine hygiene is actually the very last step in my shower reason number one being if it is a shave day then I like for my pubic hairs to be softer and while I'm showering the warm water is softening my 
my pubic hairs. Fun fact, if your pubic hairs are softer, it actually reduces the chance of you getting any necks or cuts, and it also gives you a closer shave. So that's the first reason, and the second and last reason is because when I'm washing my hair or washing my body, the soap travels downstairs. And let's say I wash my downstairs area first, and then I wash my hair. The shampoo just traveled down there, and I'm not gonna wash it off. So when I get out, I'm gonna be irritated, it can knock off my pH balance and cause more odor. So girl, to eliminate all of that, to prevent all of that, I wait to the very end of my shower to shave and cleanse my downstairs area. Personally, I prefer to shave before I cleanse my downstairs area. And that's just because like it just makes sense in my mind. I also like don't want any shaven pubic hairs to poke me when I get out of the shower. I'd rather just go ahead and wash them away, okay? But I'm including shaving in my feminine hygiene routine because shaving really helps to prevent odors. Now, I will say, it is possible to still be fresh with a bunch of hair down there, with it looking like a jungle, but it is a lot harder. So to make things simpler, I just go ahead and try to shave once a week. Pubic hairs tend to hold on to odors and they also tend to make you sweat more. And since I'm like a super fresh freak, what I notice is when I'm extra hairy down there, I don't feel as clean. I also don't smell very fresh. So I catch myself like wiping and wiping throughout the day. And it's just so much simpler to just go ahead and shave. So that's what I do. So I shave once a week, but I will say that I do have a full video on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. It is my feminine shaving routine from front to back. Y'all, it is such a detailed video. It is an amazing video. We don't have time today to discuss my entire shaving routine, but I'm going to go ahead and link that shaving routine down below because that routine will change your life. You will notice in the overlay clips of me shaving like underneath my belly button, there's like a bunch of scars and like red marks and that's because I recently had like a crazy breakout and like a bunch of ingrowns and stuff like that but I've been using a new scrub and it has really been helping but the scars are still there and the red marks are from me plucking this morning because I try to pluck the thicker hairs and then shave the thinner hairs because the thicker hairs are more prone to ingrowns I don't know y'all I just thought I'd go ahead and mention that because it's like a little bit annoying for me right now but yeah so I'll go ahead and link my shaving routine down below once I am all done shaving I begin cleansing my lady bits and this is the last step in the shower now listen when it comes down to cleansing your lady bits the soap that you use can make or break your routine the wrong soap can knock your pH balance off and have you smell in all kind of funky ways so let me give you all some suggestions I have two different cleansers that I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys today. The first cleanser being Baby Dove. Baby Dove has been my go-to, my staple for like five years straight, you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, Baby Dove is one of the best cleansers you are ever going to use on your downstairs area. This one right here is the Rich Moisture, but they also have a fragrance-free one. I love them both. They are both so amazing. A little bit goes a long way, so it'll last you a very long time. They will not irritate you. They will keep you fresh. They will not dry your downstairs area out. Baby Dove is just the way to go. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If I had to pick one soap to use downstairs for the rest of my life, it would be Baby Dove because Baby Dove is a guarantee for me. A guaranteed freshness, a guarantee no problem, no irritation. It's got everything I need, okay? And then the second soap option is going to be Honey Pot. Now, Honey Pot is a gentle foaming wash and it is made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas. So this is formulated for vaginas. It is gynecologist approved, not tested, but approved. It is pH balanced, it minimizes odors, and it is very gentle and non-irritating. What I love about Honey Pot, y'all, is that it doesn't irritate me and they come in so many different scents that it makes them in hygiene like super fun. That's why I have like so many different Honey Pot washes. But I will say this is more pricey and it won't last you as long as Baby Dove. So I personally prefer Baby Dove, but um, you have an option. You can pick whatever you want to pick. I just like to have variety and these two washes really work. Now, I don't just like to use my hands. I like to use a baby washcloth because a baby washcloth really thoroughly cleanses, but it's very gentle. And I like to cleanse my lady bits twice, not once, but twice. So once I get done thoroughly scrub a dub a dub a dub a dub in downstairs, then I go ahead and rinse everything off and repeat that again. So 
gentle cleanser, double cleanse with a baby washcloth. I don't know how, but I completely forgot to go ahead and explain to you guys how to clean your downstairs area. So like I've always taught, the same old, same old way, I put my right leg up on the side of my shower because when I put my leg up on the side of the shower, it actually opens up my vaginal lips a little bit more. And if you don't know, that's mainly where all of the odor is. So I prop my right leg up, I bend down a little bit and I clean everywhere, the inside of my thighs, everywhere the hair grows, the inside of my vaginal lips, everywhere. And I like to cleanse for about 30 to 45 seconds um, each time I cleanse. Once I'm all fresh and clean, then I exit the shower and get started on the very final steps of my daily feminine hygiene routine. When you leave the shower, there is of course going to be water in your lady bits. And that's not good because too much moisture can lead to infection and odor. I mean, girl, think about it. If you leave a wet towel balled up, what's gonna happen? There's gonna be bacteria growth and there's going to be odor. Same thing with your downstairs area. So you want to dry your downstairs area. Me personally, girl, I like to use a good old paper towel. So girl, what I do, is I rip me some paper towel, I go ahead and I fold it up and I just begin pat drying my downstairs area. I just pat, pat, pat. You can open up your lips and you can go ahead and pat, 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 pat. The only place you do not want to dry is the hole, which is the actual vagina. And I also forgot to mention, you never want to use soap in the hole. You never want to use a washcloth in the hole. You never want to do anything to that, but cleanse it with water. I personally use my fingers when I get done washing my downstairs area and I got it all rinsed out so there's no soap. I get underneath the water and I just cleanse the hole. I don't go up. I just lightly go over the hole with water. Our vaginas are actually self-cleaning so we do not ever need to wash them with soap. Some people prefer not to even wash it with water but me personally using water does not irritate me. It doesn't do anything bad to me. It just really helps me to get rid of old discharge or if it's my period to get rid of any blood that may be up there. So yeah. I personally suggest washing with water but you don't have to. Once I get done drying my lady bits then I I go in with my Lumi whole body deodorant. Now, I will say this part is optional. I wouldn't necessarily say I do this every single day, but when I do, I'll be like, girl, maybe I should be doing this every day because I do like having a little bit of fragrance downstairs. And I also like having a little bit of extra protection. And this right here does that for me. So this is the Lumi whole body deodorant. I personally like to use these smooth solid deodorants because the cream stinks so bad. And I'm trying to eliminate odor, not add odor. Powder. Okay, this is my top favorite scent. It is soft powder and what I do since this is a solid deodorant is of course I take the cap off and I rub my fingers back and forth on top of the deodorant stick and what that is doing is it's warming up the deodorant stick and it's melting it so it kind of like makes a paste or like a cream and once I'm done doing that then I just go ahead and apply it all downstairs in between my lips outside of my lips you know you know a girl when I tell you I be smelling like soft powder all day and there's truly like no way you can ever get odor with Lumi deodorants like I don't care where you put Lumi deodorant downstairs underarms underneath your breast, in between your thighs on your vagina I it don't matter this right here is going to guarantee keep you fresh for 72 hours. Now, maybe not your downstairs area for 72 hours because we do wipe and wipe and wipe. So if you reapply, then yes, 72 hours. But girl, we really shouldn't be going without no shower for 72 hours. Okay, but girl, it's gonna get you right. Once again, it is optional. And also another trick, if you do not like to apply this straight to your downstairs area, girl, just rub it on your underwear. Where the little crotch area is, just rub it back and forth on your underwear probably like four or five times. And girl, you will love it. And that was actually the very last step in my feminine hygiene routine. So that is how your girl stays fresh, balanced, and healthy. Yes, ma'am. But I also have two more tips to go ahead and share with you guys because these tips really help. So let's say for some reason you didn't drink your water or maybe you didn't shave and you're still experiencing odor. Girl, I got you. These right here are gonna get you right. These are the Summer's Eve fragrance-free daily gentle cloths. These right here are amazing for freshening up throughout the day. All you gotta do is pull one of these little bad boys out, wipe yourself up, dispose of the wipe. Personally me, I like to get more paper towel and then dab, dab, dab and like dry. But these don't leave that much moisture downstairs so you can't just like get up and go. But wiping up with these throughout the day will really make sure there's no odor. And especially on my period, girl, I be wiping up all day with these, okay? And what I do, girl, is toss these in my purse and take them out when I need them. They also have like the individual wrapped cloths. And not only do I pop that in my purse, girl, I also like to add or bring a couple 
extra pairs of underwear with me everywhere I go. So I get like a little Ziploc baggie. I put some underwear in there and put it in my purse. I cannot stand walking around in sweaty underwear and sweaty underwear can cause infections and odor. And depending what I'm doing, girl, I can sweat a lot and my underwear can be literally drenched. So I pack me away some underwear in my bag and I change my underwear anytime there's too much sweat on them. Changing your underwear makes the biggest difference in the world. But anyways, girl, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I really hope you guys try out my feminine hygiene routine. When I tell y'all, it really works. I feel so good about myself and I'm also extremely confident no matter what I'm doing because your girl knows she's fresh, okay? With that being said, I love every single one of you guys. Your girl's gonna go ahead and head up out of here. Today's my husband's birthday, so I gotta make sure I make his birthday super fun and memorable. I love you guys. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name and it's time for your girl to go.